Okay, hey everyone, uh, it's Scott again, and uh, we are doing our How to Pack a Parachute video. This is part three. We have our Javelin container down there. Um, we have our Sabre 2 170 right here, and it's been cocooned. So we're going to move on from there. All right. What we want to do now is get all the air out of the parachute. If you'll look at this parachute, you'll see this tape that's right here. That's going to be our pivot point. Um, and with that, uh, you can't always see it on all parachutes. If it's a dark parachute, if it's black or if it's purple, uh, even some really dark red ones, you can't see that. Uh, so just know it's probably about that far away from the base, which is what, about a foot? Maybe 14 inches? Um, so what I will do is I put my knees right on that tape, because that's my pivot point. And I just kind of get some of the air out of it. like that. Right. And with my parachute, I'm always pushing in and up. All right. So I'm pushing in, I'm folding in and moving up. And you can see it's starting to make this little mushroom cloud. In and up. And then I just want to lay down on it, <clears throat> get some of that air out. In and up. And that's really good. That's all we really need to do. Now by doing that, when I come up, I create, there's this little pocket that I create for my thumbs. And I take, and I put my right thumb in that pocket, and I rotate my hand around, and I grab the rest of the, or the left side of the parachute with my, with my fingers at my right hand. So I'm now ready to put this parachute in here. And I have actually total control of it. I can pick it up. I can do whatever. People freak out at this point too. You know, I, I lose my parachute and this is where it doesn't go in the bag. All parachutes don't go in the bag. All right. So once I have it up here, I hold it straight up to my body. And I take my left hand and I just pinch kind of halfway. And I just bring it together and get some more air out of it. And I fold it down. I take my left hand out, and then I take my right hand out. Take my right hand and put it underneath, and I take my parachute and I just push it forward and then lay it down flat, just like that. With all of this excess, I just fold it in, and I start on the right hand side, and then I move to the left hand side, again, just folding it in. So at this point, I bring my parachute together with my knees, and I just push down on it. As I have it pushed down, I'll go ahead and make the final prep for my bag. There are no twists in my line, it's not wrapped around anything. And I just prep my bag like this. Now here's a really important feature to have some working hands that aren't in the way. Um, what I do is I take my right forearm and I set it on my parachute just like that and it gives me two working hands. So then I grab my parachute on the, this left upper corner, I pick it up a little bit, I bring my bag to my parachute and I stow that corner and then I put my knee on it. Now notice as I'm doing this and I come over to the right side and I squeeze my bag or my parachute here and then I take my deployment bag and I bring it around my parachute. Then I just come and grab this top flap of it and pull it straight and then by doing so it kind of straightens up the entire rig, the entire pack and so my, now it's in here nice and uh, neat. And notice, very important feature here, um, my parachute didn't move. I didn't put this parachute in this bag, I put this bag over this parachute. And that's where a lot of people fail as well. Now I just grab my parachute right here and I pick it straight up and I maintain tension on my lines. I put my left hand in this pocket and I take my right hand and I bring this portion of the parachute down and I put it in that pocket. <coughs> now. 
I can't take my right hand out without disturbing my parachute, so I take my left hand and I put it in here just enough to where I can pull my right hand out. From here, I just kind of get any excess air out of it that's left. And I take my retainer bands and I pinch them right at the base. There are people, uh, when you first start packing, you'll see people pulling them right from here and then they have nothing to get through their grommet. But you can pull your retainer band from the base and still have something to grab onto. And I put it right through that grommet, no issues whatsoever, and now I pull it. I go ahead and separate it, and these are all retainer bands should be big enough that you can fit your two fingers and a thumb through. And that makes it really easy to grab. And I just put a little bite in it, just like that. That is stowing my first stow. Uh, once you stowed it, your first stow, it's pretty much in the bag.